but we don't want the I am here message, right? What we want is the data. Uh, we want to get a quiz, actual quiz. Now, who is responsible to do that? So, of course, I will not be returning it here. What I will do is I will ask my quiz service to do that. So, I will say quiz service dot and there should be a method. But unfortunately, we don't have quiz service. So, what we will do is we have to create a quiz service. So, what I will do here is uh, let me create a quiz service class and we also need the object of it. But unfortunately, we don't have this class. So I can just click here and say, hey, give me a class. In which package? In the service package. Click on OK. And you got an empty class here. Now, first of all, this is a service. So it's where this is a service. What else we need? So again, we know all those things and that's why I'm going a bit fast, but logic is important. So here, when you want to create a quiz, of course, we want to create a quiz and it should be stored in a database. As I mentioned before, I'm going to take a session tomorrow. So today, if I create a quiz, it should be there in the database. Otherwise, when I go tomorrow there, I will lose all the data. So when I say create a quiz, it should create a table which will have the quiz ready. Now, if you understand quiz better, see, we have questions, right? And questions can be of different topics. We have for some for Java, we have some for Python. Maybe we can also add for Kotlin. We have different topics there, right? Now, when I create a quiz, or maybe for one particular topic, we can create multiple quiz. We got Java 1, Java 2, Java 3. So we have different quiz available for Java. And it may happen that the questions are repeated in, few, um, in some of the quizzes. So let's say there's a question number 5, which is there in the quiz 1 and quiz 2 as well. Now, in this case, if you want to store this data in the database, how will you do it? So basically, we have a quiz table and then we have a question table. Now, we have to map it as well, right? So there are different types of mapping available. We have one-to-one. -one. So when we are sure that one quiz will only have one question, that is one-to-one. One-to-many, one quiz can have multiple questions, which is true in our case. But then in one-to-many, you cannot have the same question in different quiz. But in our case, we have that. Two different quiz can have the same question, right? So we have to go for many-to-many. Now, in terms of many to many, we create an extra table. We'll see, we'll see that in the database once we do that. But basically, we need to work with the DAO as well. So here, we have to say quiz DAO. I will say this is quiz DAO. And okay, am I using auto wiring here? Let's do that. Okay, let's do auto wiring here as well at auto wired. And now we need this interface as well. So I will click on click here. I will say create an interface quiz DAO in the DAO package, right? And if you want this to work, you need to extend JPA, oh, not index holder, JPA repository. Now this will take two things, the type of the table you're working with, which is quiz, and the type of primary key, which is integer. But if you want to work with quiz, we need a class quiz, right? So there are so many things we need to create. Oh, we don't have a quiz class, so let's create a quiz class. I know I'm jumping here, there, but that's how you build project, right? You have dependencies and you understand what other things we require. So basically we need to create a class called quiz, which will be in the model. Uh, do we have a model here? Yeah, we have. So you can see we got quiz here. And uh, our question was not in model. Let me just move question to model. Okay, so what are the things we need in quiz? So not much, actually, we need only three things. The primary key uh, for the quiz table, we need a title because every quiz will have a title. So next time when I want to start a quiz, I should know which title I want to play. And also we need questions. So that for that particular quiz, what are the questions we have? And we cannot have everything in one table because one quiz can have multiple questions, right? So it makes sense to have it in different table. So we call them as mapping tables, right? So what I will do is I will just create a primary key here. So which is private integer ID and then private string title and then private Okay, now since we have one quiz can have multiple questions, so it should be a list of questions. And I can say these are questions. Import the package. Okay, but then this also need to create a table, right? So I have to first mention this as an entity. And also we need to use Lombok to create getter and setter. And okay, why there's an error in quiz? Oh, it should have a primary key. So this should be ID. And also, we want to this to be auto-generated. So generated value, strategy equal to generated type identity. Okay. See, we have done this. We have done all of this thing for questions, and that's why 
I am doing this fast without wasting time. Uh, we need to import the package for questions. Done. Why there is problem with the questions? Questions are okay. We're not able to import the questions, is it? Oh, it's the same package. Then what's the issue? Basic attribute type should not be a container. Okay, I think it is because of the mapping. So basically, if you want to achieve many to many, you have to use at the rate many to many. Oh, that was the issue. Okay, so my idea is becoming very very smart now. I thought there's some syntactical issue. Okay, so you can see it says you have to do mapping, which is many to many because we have a quiz with multiple questions, right? So the mapping is important. Okay, once we got quiz, we can actually create this quiz now and, and that is done. We don't need to worry about this particular interface now. Let's go back to service. Now it is the service responsibility to create a quiz for me. So now question arises: how exactly it will create a quiz. So let's try that. So first of all, I will create a method, which is the method which I want to create here. So if you can see, okay, what I will do is I will not be writing from here. Let me go to the controller where I want to use this method. And I can say, I want to have a method name, which is create quiz. And this will take uh, three parameters, category, the num q, and the title, right? So this is the method I want. Now the advantage is if I click here and if I click on create method, it will give me that method. I don't have to type that manually. And I can simply create a quiz now. Now to create a quiz, what are the things we need? We can simply create the object, right? We can, we can say quiz, quiz. Of course, we need to import the package for this. We can say quiz, quiz is equal to new quiz. And then we can set the values, right? So the quiz will have set ID, which is the, okay, set ID should be auto-generated. So we can say set title, title is coming from here. But then quiz also wants questions, right? Because we have three, three things there. We got ID, which is auto-generated, so we don't have to worry about it. Title is something we have specified, but what about the questions? Now this questions will actually coming from the database, right? So even if I say set questions, you can see we don't have that here. So we have to get the questions first. How will you get the questions? Again, simple, you can ask your DAO layer to, do, to give you that. So I can say, I want a list of questions. I can say questions, we need to import the package. So if I say list of questions here, and now we need to fetch that from database, right? So I can ask my quiz DAO. Okay, not actually quiz DAO. You know, the thing is, the questions are coming from question DAO. Because the question's responsibility is for the question DAO, not the quiz DAO. So we need to get the hold on both. So first let's get the question DAO, because that's where the questions are. Now we cannot say find all. The thing is, when you say find all, it will give you all the questions. What we want is specific number of questions for a topic. So what we can do is we can create some method. We can say find random questions by category. Okay, so what we are saying is give me questions and we also give me questions limited to let's say number which I have specified here, five questions, two questions, and then with a category. So of course you have to pass these two things. You have to pass the category and you have to pass the number of questions you want, right? And we don't have this method. If you can see the DAO is not having this method. Let's create one. And we just have to create the interface, right? Now you're thinking, oh, this should be easy, right? Because the JPA gives you everything. See, JPA can give you things till a point, right? After that, you have to get the data from by yourself. And that's why you have to write the SQL queries. Now don't worry, we'll not be writing SQL query. We'll be writing the native queries here. Now, how do you write a query? So for a particular method, if you want to execute a particular query, you can use something called a query annotation. You can see it's coming from data JPA. And in this bracket, you can mention your query. So you basically you have to specify two things. One is the query. And second, is it native? Yes, it's native. But what is a query? Now that's where you have to write the JPQL query here. So we'll say select star from question. That's your table name, Q, where. So basically we have to fetch question from the uh, question table, but then what should be the where clause? First of all, the category should match with what we are passing. So I can say Q dot category need to match with my category. So that should be equal to, okay, how do I specify this variable here? Now, if you want to specify the variable, because the value will be coming from the variable, right? You have to give a colon. So colon category. And then now you also need only five questions. So basically we can say, okay, let's order by because we want to do it in random. So we can say order by random. So it, it, they are the inbuilt functions. So we can get random questions. Okay, we will get random, but how about limiting the numbers? So that's where we'll be using limit. 
Of course, teaching you the SQL now or the query language now will take a lot of time. So I will just simply use those data here. And that's it. You got your query. Oh, it looks good. Let's see if, if something goes wrong, we'll debug it. So that's your query. And now once you got your query, this will work now. You will get your questions and you just have to add your questions in the service. So we have done with that. So once you got your quiz ready, because this is what will create a quiz, right? Now, once you got your quiz ready, you just have to use the quiz DAO to save the quiz. So we'll say save and we are saving this particular quiz, right? So we have generated random questions with the title and now you are saving it. Okay, looks like it should work, but you have to return the response as well. So also return new response entity. We can return a message, success, if everything goes well. Of course, we should handle the exception as well, but let's do that later. HTTPS dot created. Okay, looks like we have done with the create quiz, but is it really working? Uh, first of all, we have not, okay, we don't do mapping here. We can simply do mapping, that's done, create done. Okay, I hope this will work. Let's try, restart the application, go back to Postman and say send, Okay, we got success. You can say we got 201, but I'm not sure is it really worked in the first attempt. Let's try. Go back to your tables. You can see we only got one table here, but if I refresh, okay, we got two more tables. The quiz will have quiz, right? So if I will say all rows, but if you observe, we only have two columns here. We got quiz ID, which is one auto-generated, and this was a title, right? The quiz, uh, J quiz or title. If you remember in Postman, that's what we have done here, jQuiz. And, but what are the questions? For this particular quiz, what are the questions? And that's where we have a separate table. If you say view data here, and you will see the quiz created. So the, basically we have for Java and question number 18, 8, 17, 6, and 19. Okay, do we have all these questions as Java? Remember these numbers, uh, 18, 8, 17, 6, 19. Let's see if everything is going well. I will just say view all rows. I think 16, 17, 18 was that. 16, okay, okay, 17, 18, 19 was that. That's for Java. And six and eight. Okay, so we are right. So basically this is working. Let me just verify once again. It is start, It should start from 17. Yeah, there's no 16 here. So yeah, it worked. So basically we were able to create a quiz with five questions. Now, how do you fetch this quiz? What if you want to, you have to specify the quiz ID and get all the quiz questions. How will you do that? We'll do that in the next video. And also we'll try to handle the exceptions and make it work better. So I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because like this, we are, we are going to build multiple projects which will be coming on this channel. Bye-bye.